I'm Natasha Barrett. I am president at Royal Holloway Students' Union. And here at Royal Holloway, we are particularly valued for our international student outlook. We, have, we were rated 10th in the UK for international outlook, and we have 27% of non-EU international students alone, uh, with a large number of EU students, international students on top of that. At the Students' Union, we promote multiculturalism and diversity in all forms. Uh, we work really hard to promote and achieve this through cultural societies that are part of our union, through working with our international rep, and through putting on various events and campaigns throughout the year. Hello, I'm Yipiu. I'm from Burma and I'm doing psychology. Hi, I'm Tressa. I study history and I'm from Queens, New York. I'm Emily. I'm studying law and I'm from France. Hi, I'm Noah. Um, I study English and I'm from Rochester, New York. Hi, uh, my name is Willow. I was born in Malaysia and I kind of half grew up in Singapore. I am a second year in English and philosophy. I have this belief that if you grow up in like certain part of the world, you have to expose in a very different culture. That, in a way, will like open up your mind. Um, I choose to come to the UK in order to improve my English and to make it better, um, but also to meet some new people, to just have to take this adventure to go abroad and um, do something new. Even though it was kind of cliche, I was like, I just want to get out there and experience the world. And you know, this is kind of the typical story, but I saw the picture of Founders and I was just like, oh, I need to go there. For someone who's really inter interested in um, humanities, um, I really needed to come to a place that values that and it just kind of makes sense that England would be the place for me to study English, but also um, it has a strong tie to um, the kind of European philosophy history. It was the perfect balance because we're close to London, we have a huge international population, um, so I didn't lose the diversity of the city when I was here, um, but I was able to kind of be more in a suburban kind of country area where you had a campus um, and you could really kind of get a sense of community. My circle of friends are so diverse that sometimes it still baffles me and amazes me. I have friends from Hong Kong, um, I've met people from Russia I think, it just pretty much everywhere. Not as like close friends but I definitely have met tons of people every day who are from different places and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you're from here? Cool. And then it's like that. I, I do have a lot of uh, international student friends and I, I'm quite surprised. Like, I know it's going to be different and it's going to be in like multicultural place, but I didn't expect to meet like so much nationality, like different nationality. Uh, going from seminar to seminar, um, meeting a bunch of different people from all over the world, um, all over Europe, it was really great. Um, I'm actually I'm quite worried about that. Um, just uh, seeing that the Brexit happened, see that Trump is getting like more and more important in the political scene. It's really, really like um, really upsetting, and I don't know what's gonna happen. At the same time, like I can see what's happening in France as well, and see that the extreme is getting better, like bigger and bigger, and. We are like, in, in France we are quite upset about that and we don't know what's going to happen. So yeah, obviously as an international student in this country, I feel like probably I'm going to be rejected or something going to happen to me. I'm not going to be able to do a master or to keep on working here. I don't know what's going to happen. I was kind of just like this, you know, America is always thought of as the melting pot of different cultures, but really like this uni, I've really noticed it's just like different people from all over and I really love that. So what I'm kind of worried about is that that might start to disappear. Racism has been around us for like many years now, but uh, having Trump who is very racist, being a war lead, him as a war leader, kind of like approve some people who are already very racist. So that might encourage those people and approve this kind of uh, environment. I'm just quite afraid that um, because of Brexit and because of Trump, um, these kind of shift in um, political ideology would encourage people to um, 
further alienate our international friends who really have a lot to contribute to um, an international campus. All I can hope for is that all of my friends and I remain in solidarity and that we're here for each other and that we continue to do what we do um, in liberation groups like FEMSOC or LGBT plus society or Women of Color Collective and things of that sort so that we remain together in all of this. Royal Holloway Students' Union stands in solidarity with the work that has been done uh, by the NUS International Students' Campaign, uh, particularly in representing migrant workers and standing in solidarity with them. Um, in particular, the hashtag One Day Without Us campaign, which took place earlier this week. And finally, a massive thank you to all the students that came and helped us out with making this video, and to Willow, our international students rep, who made it with me.